Ah, uh, remember when experts used to say that Bitcoin was a bubble? How the turntables. Eat your hearts out, experts. What a journey for Bitcoin. Who would have thought that Bitcoin would do so well? Not me, that's for sure, but here we are. With a whopping market cap of over $1 trillion, according to CoinMarketCap, Bitcoin continues to reign supreme in the crypto markets, despite its flaws. Granted, it's not doing so well these days, yet it's still far better than how it started nearly a decade ago and still a lot more expensive than gold. Bubble indeed. Hello guys, welcome to today's video, where we're going to do a quick rundown of Bitcoin. What is it? Bitcoin was introduced to the world in 2009, a little under a decade ago. I mean, it's not even old enough to legally drink, and it's already doing big things. The ever-elusive Satoshi Nakamoto is to thank for the first cryptocurrency. Well, it wasn't the first to be developed, but it was the first to succeed. They wanted a virtual currency free from all of the negative aspects of physical money. The cryptocurrency would be decentralized, secure, yet still accessible. By doing so, the first successful cryptocurrency was born. The native currency of the blockchain is Bitcoin or BTC. Today, the price of one Bitcoin is a little over $28,000. Much like traditional money that you can keep in your wallet, you can keep your cryptocurrency in digital wallets accessed from the client software or online and hardware tools. Now ranked number one on CoinMarketCap due to its massive amount in capitalization, it's safe to say that the Bitcoin isn't going anywhere in a while. Let's see how this exciting little coin works, shall we? How does Bitcoin work? As we've mentioned earlier, Bitcoin came into existence as an alternative form of money that will be free from central control, hence its decentralization. Banks do not have to oversee it because it relies on peer-to-peer -peer software. Every transaction on the system is broadcast publicly and distributed to every node on the software. Miners using the proof-of-work protocol try to prove the outcome of a transaction. These new outcomes, with the information from the previous block, make a new block that will be permanently added to the chain, hence the term blockchain. Now what is Bitcoin mining? If you're new to this channel, check out our previous videos where we've talked about crypto mining. But let's do a quick recap. What is Bitcoin mining? Mining is a process where mining systems compete to solve mathematical puzzles. Mining consumes a lot of energy. The owner of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk, announced that the Tesla brand would have to stop accepting Bitcoin because it wasted too much energy and fossil fuel generated electricity. However, Tesla might be looking into rebooting their partnership with Bitcoin as soon as they complete conducting, due diligence on the renewable energy used to mine the currency. Other cryptocurrencies have started exploring other means of mining, like proof-of-stake to replace mining with staking, drastically reducing energy consumption by a lot, and the innovative proof-of-history protocol already adopted by the Solana blockchain. Let's take a little peek into history for some seconds with a little background on crypto. Little History of Cryptocurrency According to a Bitcoin magazine, the earliest attempt at cryptocurrency was in the Netherlands. Petrol stations in the country were suffering from increasing nighttime thefts. To curb the rise, a group of developers came together to attempt to link money to newly designed smart cards. Truck drivers who needed the service of these stations would carry these cards, and the stations would not have paper money lying around. There's a possibility that this may be the earliest attempt at virtual money. Various other attempts at cryptocurrency have risen and fallen since then. Blinded cash, web-based money, B-money, hash cash, and bitgold not to be confused with the contemporary gold-based exchange of the same moniker, are some earlier projects. The 90s were busy for cryptocurrency developers. Unfortunately, all of these were ultimately unsuccessful. What can Bitcoin be used for? Bitcoin is increasingly enjoying applications in various forms, and we've put together some of them. Applications of Bitcoin Much unlike its many other counterparts that are scalable and possess the potential of being used in different forms across multiple industries, Bitcoin, unfortunately, can only be used as a means of buying, selling, or direct exchange. It can be exchanged for real money, just like you would an asset. Even without all of that, the Pioneer coin is blazing the trail in areas concerning accepting cryptocurrency as legal tender. Some countries have even started approving using Bitcoin as legal tender, with El Salvador at the forefront and the Central African Republic following closely behind. The Central African Republic recently unanimously voted to pass a bill legalizing cryptocurrency. Exciting, I know. What's more, establishments like KFC, Starbucks, PayPal, Home Depot, Microsoft, Whole Foods, and Burger King, to name a few, have all started accepting Bitcoin in exchange for goods and services provided. Whether you're grabbing a hot coffee or iced tea from Starbucks, or a burger from Burger King, or maybe you want a new bathroom rug from Home Depot because your dog peed on the old one, you can do all that with Bitcoin. Additionally, assets like houses, lands, yachts, cars, and private jets can be purchased using Bitcoin should the recipient be okay with everything being on the table. Make a direct transfer from your wallet to the sellers, or cash out your crypto. You can even use your Bitcoin as collateral for a mortgage. Can you still make money from Bitcoin? Yes, absolutely. The most common and beginner-friendly way of earning money from cryptocurrencies is to buy HODL. As an investor, you can hold your coins and wait until the value increases and sell them for a profit. Buy low, sell high. That's my motto. Another way you can earn money from Bitcoin is through affiliate programs. Some cryptocurrency platforms reward you for referring new users to their platform. Staking is another safe way to earn money from Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency platforms with staking software reward users for adding their coins to a stake pool. Another great way to earn cryptocurrency is by working for a cryptocurrency company. With the rapid boost in the popularity of cryptocurrencies, job openings are on the rise, and these companies usually pay their employees with crypto. You can also earn money from day trading. Bear in mind that this is risky and should only happen after you've sought expert advice. Take advantage of the crypto boom today and you won't regret it. 
Fun facts, the smallest unit of a Bitcoin is called a Satoshi. The terms hodl or hodling are a misspelling of hold holding in the context of buying and holding Bitcoin. A drunken Bitcoin holder who wanted to announce his stand on the volatile market, the term became the accepted word for holding positions when the market is bearish. And that's all for now, guys. Remember that nothing said in this video is in any way financial advice. If you're looking to get into crypto, please seek the advice of a professional and do your research to be safe. What was your favorite part about this video? Please share with us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. See you soon.